As we've already covered, many lakes are rapidly losing their native shoreline protection from shoreline disturbance. In fact, many lakes have never had natural protection from wave action. An effective shoreline would be covered with aquatic plants in the water and deep-rooted plants along the banks, stabilizing the soil. The presence of these plants along the shore provide many beneficial factors. They play an integral part towards a balanced ecosystem by providing habitat for insects and fish, while also providing a food source for wildlife. The aquatic plants along the shore slow down and cancel out the kinetic energy of waves, preventing shoreline disturbance. As if that weren't enough, these plants release oxygen in the water and at the same time consume nutrients from the water. This exchange can help prevent algae blooms due to excess nutrient loading. The use of native plantings along the shoreline on land contributes to the health of any lake. These areas are called buffer zones. Buffer zones create a filtering barrier between your home and the lake. These deep-rooted plants filter out nutrients and sediment from your yard and use them for their own growth rather than allowing them to enter the lake. The use of native flowering plants in a buffer zone setting can add aesthetic beauty to any shoreline while still providing excellent protection for the lake. Shorelines on many lakes are being lined with rock or concrete seawalls instead of a natural shoreline. Without these plants being present, the kinetic wave energy is not canceled out. In fact, the wave energy is sometimes increased, returning the wave back to the lake. This agitation can resuspend sediment and nutrients, resulting in poor water quality and clarity. This can also lead to excess weed and algae growth. When shorelines are left without protection from wave action, the shore will ultimately recede and erode into the lake. This erosion needs to be addressed immediately with some type of preventative measure. This unprotected eroding bank was regraded and planted with native shoreline vegetation and aquatic plants. These photos illustrate an example of bioengineering. Within one year, this shoreline transformed into a scenic protective buffer and after two years, it continues to add important habitat and aesthetic value to the lake. Planting a shoreline doesn't have to be an expensive project. The initial cost of a few plants will rapidly develop and spread. As seen here, these plants can be harvested and divided into sections to be transplanted where needed along your shore, creating a lush aquatic habitat while stabilizing your shoreline. Some shorelines have been lined with rock or seawalls, and although they provide a somewhat limited amount of protection, we now know that it can be improved by adding a natural component. The addition of aquatic plants adds to the aesthetic value while providing increased protection from wave action. Installing aquatics in your rock shoreline can be done fairly easy. The bulrush seen here was harvested and is being prepared for transplant in a rock shoreline. The individual sections are wrapped in a coconut fiber to hold the root and soil together until the plant can establish itself. The bundled plant sections are then placed in the shoreline by removing rocks to create a hole large enough to accommodate the package. The plant is then secured in place with rocks that were previously removed. Over the course of the next month, the roots will grow downward, finding their way into the soil, resulting in a more secure and attractive shoreline. 